Special thanks to Acorns for sponsoring this video. In my last video, I talked about Apple possibly competing with Tesla in the future. Well, today we're talking about another major company that could pose a threat to Tesla in the coming future and how many people are not talking about them in this space. Tesla has a market cap of $590 billion at the time of filming this video and their biggest product for the time being is premium priced electric cars. They do work with solar and battery tech and are pushing incredibly hard on full self-driving, but their cars are their primary business for the time being. Amazon has a market cap of 1.627 trillion and they are an online retailer. However, they've grown so big that they are pushing into nearly every territory and believe it or not, they're pushing heavily into Tesla's territory. So let's get into it. Tesla is hard at work on full self-driving. Currently, their auto steer on city streets feature is in a very limited beta, and there are rumors that they could be pushing out some of the features to all customers in the next week or so, with the full feature likely coming sometime next year, pending regulatory approval. Elon says that it will be level five autonomy, and there are many indications that Tesla is on the verge of something huge here. However, there are a lot of other companies coming up, including Waymo, Cruise, and now Amazon or technically Zooks. Zooks is a self-driving car company that Amazon bought in June of this year for over a billion dollars. The startup had 1,000 employees at the time and Amazon's Jeff Wilkie said at the time, quote, Zooks is working to imagine, invent, and design a world-class autonomous ride hailing experience. Like Amazon, Zooks is passionate about innovation and about its customers, and we're excited to help the talented Zooks team to bring their vision to reality in the years ahead. So it's Amazon, right? And they have a market cap of 1.627 trillion. So what's 1 billion? Well, at the time, this was absolutely Amazon's biggest acquisition for a company in this space, but it was also one of their biggest acquisitions ever. Most people see Zooks as a competitor to Waymo since these companies are more focused on autonomous ride hailing, while Tesla is focused on cars and self-driving for the humans that drive those cars. But Tesla is absolutely planning to compete in this space. Elon Musk has talked about a robo-taxi for years, saying that it would arrive in 2020. Of course, this hasn't happened yet, but it looks like we're getting closer and closer. Per usual with companies of this size or companies acquired by people like Amazon or Apple, they hire direct from other competitors. In fact, at the time of this acquisition, Zooks had just admitted that four of their new hires from Tesla were in possession of confidential documents from Tesla. There was a lawsuit which settled on Zooks paying Tesla a certain amount of money and doing an audit to ensure that there was no other confidential Tesla information still in the possession of those employees. We obviously don't know what these entailed, but the official Zooks statement at the time said, quote, Zooks acknowledges that certain of its new hires from Tesla were in possession of Tesla documents pertaining to shipping, receiving, and warehouse procedures when they joined Zooks' logistics team. Zooks said they regret the action of those employees, while Tesla said the act was blatant and intentional. We'll have to see how this plays out in the future, but it doesn't sound like any of their self-driving technology itself has to do with something that they stole from Tesla. In any case, they have been working in secret on a self-driving car. While their entity is separated from Amazon, they have the funding from Amazon, which is expected to be billions for this specific project, and they just revealed their first prototype vehicle after doing months of testing their equipment on other cars, and here it is. Now your first thought is probably, Ryan, this isn't anything like a Tesla, this looks dumb, there's not even a spot for a driver, how is this even close to a Tesla competitor? Well, first, Amazon is competing in that exact direct space with a car made for a driver, and we'll get to that in just a second. But the Zooks prototype has some new features that make it stand out. Since it has this boxy design that kinda looks like there's no front, it has the ability to drive both forward and backward equally well, as well as side to side or bi-directionally. All four wheels can steer and it should allow for tight curbside pickups or tricky U-turns while also being able to travel up to 75 miles per hour, seemingly allowing it to be on the highway in the future. On the tech side, this car is all in on LiDAR, which we know Tesla is not. They're on the opposite end of that spectrum using only cameras, but this car uses six LiDAR pucks on the top, multiple radar sensors, as well as cameras. The sensors allow the vehicle to see objects up to 150 meters away, according to Zooks, with redundancy in case of sensor failure. This car seats four, and it seats them in a carriage style where they're facing each other. It also has cup holders, wireless charging mats, a starry sky pattern on the ceiling, and touchscreens for various passenger controls. Real quick, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Acorns. Acorns is the easiest way to save and invest money. In less than five minutes, you can sign up and invest your spare change, spend smarter, earn more, and grow your knowledge all within the app. 
Investing is very important to me for my long-term savings goals, and I really like the idea of just how easy Acorns is to operate. They're a very popular saving and investing app and have helped over 8 million people save and invest in the background of their life. There's no expertise required because you can easily set up daily, weekly, or monthly recurring contributions, as well as set up Acorns to automatically round up your spare change from everyday purchases like coffee, food, charging, and more. You set it, forget it, and Acorns puts your money into diversified portfolios designed by experts to maximize growth. Additionally, Acorns has partnered with hundreds of companies that will invest a percentage of your purchase back into your investment account. Click the link in the description below or visit acorns.com slash Ryan Shaw to claim your $5 bonus when signing up. It takes less than three minutes to set up, so check it out. Here's the big and expensive part for Zooks. The battery pack is 133 kilowatt hours. This is 33 kilowatt hours bigger than the largest battery pack Tesla ships on the Model S, and Zooks said it should enable it to drive for 16 hours continuously for robo taxis. Now they didn't disclose an EPA estimated range or anything like that, but that might not even be something that applies here since the primary focus of this will be a robo taxi fleet and most likely not a focus on highway driving for the time being. If you want to compare, the Model S lasts for 402 miles on 100 kilowatt hours in a perfect scenario, which is around six and a half or seven hours of continuous use on the freeway, but that's a dumb comparison since we're comparing a sporty sedan driving on freeways compared to a tiny self-driving little bus thing with a larger battery pack driving 75 miles per hour max and being used for short cab rides the entire time. Now Tesla's current plan for robo taxis is essentially to use their current vehicles. While this will have appeal since Teslas are very nice vehicles, for in-town quick stops, I don't think the average person is actually going to care whether it's a Tesla or a Zoox, as long as it's safe and quick. I could even see Zoox having a leg up here since this vehicle is designed for this purpose. But Tesla also has a big advantage here, if they truly can achieve robo-taxis with software. Their advantage is that any customers who have bought the Model S, 3X, or Y in the last couple of years should be able to put their car on the robo-taxi network. Now, of course, this is a huge software achievement for Tesla if they can get it done. And it's not something that they can do easily, but if or when they do it, Overnight, they'll have a million cars available for their robo-taxi fleet. And then they'll have whatever percentage of those million customers actually decide to put their car on the robo-taxi network. Elon's take on this was that, quote, from our standpoint, if you fast forward a year, maybe a year and three months, but next year for sure, we'll have over a million robo-taxis on the road. The fleet wakes up with an over-the-air software update. That's all it takes. Now, of course, these quotes were from 2019, and here we are with no robo-taxis, but even Elon has said, quote, only criticism, and it's a fair one, is that sometimes I'm not on time, but I get it done and the Tesla team gets it done. And so far, this has been the case for everything he's promised, and the Cybertruck will be another huge thing that we'll see if they truly deliver what they've promised. Looking into this hypothetical future, Zooks will be producing their cars exclusively for the robo-taxi purpose. So their robo-taxi fleet size is contingent on them producing their vehicles and making the cost of them back with ride-sharing. Tesla will be producing some cars for this purpose exclusively, I assume, but will also be allowing customers to utilize their own cars, earning money for Tesla from the cars that they already sold, and earning money for the owners of those cars with Elon estimating over $30,000 a year possible. That's where Tesla is planning to go in the future. Again, Elon said 2020, and that's clearly not the case, but Elon has a decent track record of delivering things like he said. This time, it's a much bigger and more complicated thing with self-driving, along with the regulation necessary to make it legal. I'm less confident in Tesla's robo-taxi network myself, but I really hope that they do indeed prove me wrong, and I'll absolutely make a video putting my Model Y on that fleet. But aside from robo-taxis and ride-sharing and self-driving, Tesla is making electric cars, which are looking like the future. Currently, they're more expensive, but if you've ever driven one, you know immediately that the experience is vastly superior to that of a traditional gas-burning car. People like Tim Cook at Apple and clearly Jeff Bezos at Amazon are figuring this out, which is why Amazon is also heavily invested in great electric cars with Rivian. Rivian is an EV startup that has yet to produce a car, but as of July of this year, had raised about $5.35 billion for their ventures. The amount of money they have immediately allows them to push forward and grow, hiring over 2,400 people around the U.S. and opening multiple offices. 
They originally started in 2009 and wanted to make a luxury sports car, kind of like the Tesla Roadster, but shifted their plans for an electric pickup and SUV. Due to their massive funding and actual ability to make functioning prototype cars, people tend to see Rivian as a true competitor for Tesla. There are of course the normal arguments of charging infrastructure, self-driving, and battery tech, but Rivian is set to release their cars, last we heard, in the middle of 2021, and they do have self-driving plans for the future, but they're just less defined for the time being. Their EVs are definitely pricey, starting at $67,500 for the R1T and $70,000 for the R1S, but they have projected ranges over 300 miles and just seem to have the confidence of those ordering them since they are backed by major companies like Amazon. If we compare their R1T to Tesla's Cybertruck, Rivian has a big advantage in terms of looks. While I love the Cybertruck design, the Rivian design looks like a truck that is a few years into the future. And for the average truck buyer who may be wanting to go electric, that's pretty inviting. The Cybertruck is the truck that is legitimately from the future, or I suppose an alternate reality, and the looks are definitely not for everyone. However, since those looks are in part because of the exoskeleton structure of the Cybertruck, they actually help bring the cost down. I'm not comparing all the features at all, and we're comparing two cars that have yet to be produced, but the dual motor Cybertruck is listed at a 300 plus mile range for $49,900. While the range equivalent Rivian starts at $67,500, a full $17,600 more than the Cybertruck. Now there's a lot more to that comparison, but Amazon is also utilizing Rivian for their own delivery vehicles. In October, Amazon unveiled their new 100% electric delivery vehicle built by Rivian. They expect to have 10,000 of these vans making deliveries as early as 2022 with a goal of 100,000 by 2030. Amazon's statement says, quote, we combined Rivian's technology with our delivery logistics knowledge and the result is what you see here, the future of last mile delivery. The reason this matters is that Rivian will be producing a lot of cars or vans with someone buying them pretty much no matter what. While producing these vans for Amazon could delay production of their passenger truck and SUV, producing these vans gives them an incredible advantage to work through initial production issues and battery optimization while having a steady flow of cash from Amazon, buying their vehicles, and helping fund the project as well. A lot of what has been a challenge for Tesla is working on R&D to improve their cars and lower costs while also needing to fund those projects themselves. They were having to work through logistics of producing the Model 3 while also needing to deliver quality products to customers. Rivian will have a similar challenge, however, since Amazon is so heavily invested in them, they have that support, a support which the general public doesn't tend to give for a consumer vehicle, at least not in the same way, and we'll get there in a second. We'll see how this plays out in the future, but again, Amazon is backing Rivian and acquired Zoox, as we talked about earlier, and so they're pushing really hard on electric vehicles and self-driving technology. Amazon has also invested in Aurora Innovation, another autonomous tech startup run by the former head of Google's self-driving division. And you guessed it, they have recruited from Tesla, including Sterling Anderson, who ran Tesla's autopilot team. In turn, Tesla sued for employee poaching and the lawsuit was settled. The biggest fear going forward is that Tesla has these incredible technologies that they're at the forefront of, but they don't have the funding or backing of these giants like Apple or Amazon. Employee poaching is fairly common in these tech companies, and as we saw, it keeps happening that these EV startups get bought by big tech and hire some high up people from Tesla to help them start out. However, per usual, Tesla has an alternative to funding from big tech their own stock. We talked about Amazon acquiring Zooks for over 1 billion and Rivian raising over 5 billion, but Tesla just raised 5 billion by selling their own stock. And they did the same thing back in September in a move that Dan Ives, a Wedbush analyst said is, quote, another smart strategic move. So even though Amazon isn't investing billions in Tesla, people buying the stock are, and they see the potential for what Tesla has to offer and how Tesla's innovation means more money made for them because they own the stock. I think the future is going to be very interesting for cars and self-driving. There are so many players with so many Tesla employees and others bouncing from company to company that it feels like in a few years we'll have a base level of self-driving and great electric cars coming from multiple sources. Tim Cook said that the three vectors of future transport are electrification, self-driving, and ride-sharing. Whether Amazon's investments pay off and they can somehow merge their electric car ventures to compete in those three vectors remains to be seen. Currently, Tesla is competing incredibly hard on electric vehicles and dominating. 
they appear to be on the heels of achieving something big and dominating self-driving and ride-sharing in the near future, but with so many competitors, we really have a lot to keep an eye on. So in five years, an Apple car, an Amazon self-driving Zooks Rivian mobile, the Cybertruck, $25,000 Tesla, and more? We'll see, and I'll be sure to keep you posted, so make sure you subscribe to this channel for a lot more videos like this. Make sure to like this video if you appreciated it. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Ryan Shaw Tech. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.